we're live on SmackDown, the third SmackDown of this month. One week away. Welcome to Friday Night Yeah, one week away from TLC. What are you doing hanging around in my locker room, fella? We were in Paris last week, Seamus, by that big gorilla right back. He thinks he's tough because he ruined me and Ziggler's match last week. What's that got to do with me, little fella? <laughs> Proper Scottish. Allow my Scottish accent, please. Okay, I know he's Irish, but I can't help but be Scottish. Okay. Well, you are part of the us that got in embarrassed. He beat three men in a row, then made easy work of the mighty great white Sheamus. Hey, watch your mouth there, Drio. He did not make easy work of me. He got lucky. I haven't got time for Ryback. I got the number one contenders match for the US title. What? Are you stupid? Uh-oh. Ziggler, the World Heavyweight Champion. Seamus, buddy, Ryback beat you after three guys in a row. Now you're, now you're fighting for crumbs? U.S. title? Isn't it funny how as soon as he humbled you last week, you've downgraded? Yeah, keep telling yourself that. After I've taken the U.S. title, I'm coming for yours. Uh-oh. What's going on here, then? Hey, Booker, what's up? You know, Kofi, I always liked you. You're in my top five superstars. I see potential. How'd you like me to be your manager? My manager, huh? <laughs> I'm flattered, really, but no thanks, man. I know you lost your GM role. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but Kofi ain't nobody's moneymaker. You right, I need work, but you know I like seeing younger talent do good. You remind me of me when I was young and hungry. If I want to see anyone do well, it's you. I saw your match against Swagger last week. You should have won, man. If Sheamus beats you tonight, he gets a shot at your title, TLC. What are your chances if you lose tonight? Let me help. Kofi Kingston and Booker T. You know we'd be a great team. Look, I don't need you to be my mentor, all right? I've been doing pretty good on my own. Why don't you just join the other pensioners on that old people's home they call Raw? Here comes Sheamus. Kofi talking smack to Booker T. So Booker T to join his, the other old pensioners on Raw. Old people's Making home they call Raw. Making his way to the ring. From Dublin, Ireland. And Weighing 272 pounds. <laughs> And here comes Seamus, going to go up against Sheamus. the US Champion tonight. And if he wins, he gets a shot at the US title at TLC. Even though he lost to uh, Dolph Ziggler. And he lost to uh, Ryback in the last two weeks. But he's got another one contenders match here. A chance to redeem himself for those losses. Here comes the US Champion. And approaching the ring from Ghana, West Africa, weighing 221 pounds, the United States Champion, Kofi Kingston. I have been looking forward to this one. Kofi Kingston needs to beat Sheamus to make sure he doesn't get a shot at his title at TLC. Here we go. It's gonna be a tough match. Again, this one's for a spot. Oh, what? Slap. Oh, uh, Kofi's on fire now. Uh-oh, here's Sheamus. Sheamus is tired of losing. He's lost two weeks in a row. Once to a weakened Ryback. Another to the new World Heavyweight Champion, Dolph Ziggler. Both kind of upset. I mean, Ziggler may be the World Champion, but Sheamus is meant to be a beast. So he shouldn't be losing to Ziggler. I mean, definitely he shouldn't be losing to a weakened Ryback who's just gone against three men. Ryback is on some next level fire. So Sheamus wants to destroy right now. 
back from that suplex. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the uh -oh. other. Oh, what a uh -oh. suplex. Both he's getting wrecked. The US champion's getting Man, destroyed. Man, there's a vicious elbow drop. Trainers wants that title shot. Damn, Sheamus is owning. Maybe Kofi should have uh, taken up Booker T's offer to be his manager. Let's do it. What does Ooh. Kofi need to do here, Kate? Listen, he has a speed advantage. So sooner or later, he's going to dodge or counter one of those moves. Uh -oh. And if that happens, he's right back in. Oh! That was Did you hear there. the impact on that kick? Sheamus is owning right now. Oh man, is he fired up? Sheamus is in fire, right? You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done uh -oh. throughout this match. Ooh, oh my Sheamus is signature, so and he's going for the pin. One, two. two. Oh, Kofi picks it out. Uh -oh. Nope, is not it. Oh, out. what a move off the ropes. There's another great kick. Kofi controlling the arm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he drag. dodges that one. A swift kick, and that's a stiff kick. Uh -oh. What's Sheamus going to do here? I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been oh, so frozen to the right. Bro kick, oh my god! Rebound and return back in the top. Bro kick, one, two, three, oh, that was a quick time. Sheamus quickly made work of the US champion. Jesus. A lot of aggression there. A lot of aggression. Just a one sided beatdown. And what a way to end this night of SmackDown action. He destroyed the US champion, man. Sheamus finally redeemed himself. Oh, here comes Booker, but he feels like saying, I told you so. Look at him. Sheamus will face Kofi for the US title at TLC. Ryback, you attacked me and Del Rio last week. Del Rio and I are not best friends, but you humiliated us equally in your lame bid to prove that you're a big, strapping, strong man. Yeah, you're strong, but most tough guys got a brain of an ant. Let's see how tough you are in a handicap match against me and Rio tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Let's raise the stakes a little. Right back, you beat us tonight. You get a shot at Ziggler's world title. Wait, wh wh what, man? What the hell is wrong with you? You can't do that. Relax. We got this in the bag. We cannot lose! We better not, because I'm coming after you if you do. Uh-oh, here he comes. Right back! Right back! He's attacking them! Oh, he's took down a lot of each other. I accept! Ryback right versus Ziggler and Del Rio tonight! What's going on here, Roman? Whoa! Relax, alright. Everything's cool. I was just asking your pal Roman here if Shield could do a little favor for me. You know justice isn't free. It's earned. Oh, I know. Trust me. I know. Now listen close, because I need you guys to... Why would we do that? There's no justice there. Oh, but there is. CM Punk used you when he needed you and cast you aside. Without the shield, him owning Raw now would have been impossible. Now you universe superstars are not even allowed to set foot on the show you helped him get? 
Is that justice? You do this. You make Ra believe in this shield. And I get what I want. <laughs> win win. That's how you guys like it, right? He's got a point, Dean. All right. You got a deal. What does this mean? What's going to happen next? Indeed. We've got Jack Swagger here with us before our next match. Antonio Cesaro versus Wade Barrett. You know what I don't understand, Jack? Is why you betrayed Cesaro. You know what I've been wondering? Why you decide to wear that Attitude Era robe here? This is SmackDown Universe. Hey, I represent Attitude. I wear what I want, when I want. You got a problem? Um, why don't we just get on with the match, huh? Yeah, why don't we? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Manchester, England, weighing 246 pounds, Wayne Barrett. Here we go. Here's Wade Barrett about to take on Antonio Cesaro with Jack Swagger watching and coming to do. Antonio Cesaro probably has to restrain himself and from jumping on Jack Swagger and weighing his face in after that big betrayal pounds, and that ruined friendship Cesaro. two weeks ago. Here we go. So this is always oh, ready. Michael, this is going to be fun to watch. This match has got the hair on the back of my neck standing up, Michael. This I'm is sure Cesaro has a lot to prove tonight. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. To prove that he wasn't the weak link in the real Americans. My what are you talking about? German suplex. He of course he was a weak link. <laughs> That's Jack Swagger talking about. No attack counter by Cesaro. Jack Swagger won his match last week against Kofi Kingston, the U.S. champion. So now, Antonio Cesaro has a lot to prove. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at one of the reasons Antonio Cesaro has burst on the scene here in WWE. Ooh, way better. Huge shot to the temple. Hey, Brad lost his match the other week as well. He lost his third man to come in to face Ryback. And his open call to the locker room. And he lost. Nothing to be ashamed about. Ryback literally turned into a monster that night. Call your friends. Let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. Oh, what a move. Antonio Cesaro is dangerous as anything. Uh-oh. I think we're going to see it. Antonio Cesaro. Spinning the heck. That's a great fight. The tension. The drama. This is electric. Elbow drop. Are going to be here? A fever pitch is here in the WWE universe. And now you're going to see it off the front. You appear on the cross. That's Cesaro. I think Cesaro wants to finish this now. Here we go. Oh. That's got to be it. One. Two. Oh, Wade two. Barrett kicked what out. Wade Barrett, he's far from this is taking it to Barrett. Hey, Jack, Jack, where are you going? Oh, he just passed a steel chair to Barrett. Oh, this oh. can't happen. Getting the ref to count. One, two, 
three ways back left. Bang, one! Thanks to the help of Swagger! Cesaro will be mad. Jack really has turned his old team into a bitter rivalry. Why? So, Roman, what's the plan about the U.S. title? It looks like Sheamus has got a shot. The U.S. title will have to wait. I want Orton's head the way he did last week. Looks like the Tag Team Championship can wait, too. You know we got you back, Roman. He's got to be somewhere. We'll find him and get him. Let's split up. Be wary. This is very important. We are a unit. Do not go in alone. You spot him, keep eyes on him, and call another member. You guys know the drill. As much as I love the Daniel Bryan chance, guys, I got some real fun ones we could do. How about, let's go Bryan Cena sucks. Let's go Bryan Cena sucks. Okay, okay, how's this, how's this? <clears throat> Rise above Cena. Rise above Cena. Rise above Cena. Crowd going crazy. Uh oh. Here he comes now. Two rings go out of me. Ryan, we're over. Done. You had your title shot and you lost. Get over it. Whoa, look who's showing emotion. I'm trying to prove a point. It's past titles now. Don't let me lose respect for you, Brian. You lost my respect when you lost theirs. I think that's the loudest booing I've heard from you, Cena. Must be some kind of new record. You've lost the respect of the crowd, and you've lost the respect of the legends before you. Should we list the legends you've disappointed? Hmm. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Feel the energy! Remember that, Cena? Piper said it best when he said you need to tap into the energy of the many, not just the energy of a few. You're the face of this company, yet nobody likes you, Cena. Nobody wants to see that title on you. I know what you're doing, Brian. It's not gonna work. You won't get another shot. Okay, let's try another legend, The Rock. Just this Monday on Raw, The Rock and HBK set up a legendary match, a never before seen match, The Rock versus Shawn Michaels. Sounds familiar? Sounds a lot like John Cena versus The Rock at WrestleMania 28, don't it? Similar stakes, except The Rock dubbed this match at TLC the real once in a lifetime. Basically, The Rock is saying that the match he had with you was a joke. He doesn't even consider it real. A match he won. You're mediocre. Ordinary. Boring. Wrestling is about the fans. You should vacate the title and quit. Because you failed them. Oh my. Wow, harsh words from Daniel Bryan. Here he comes. Oh, Cena's, not, Cena's hard enough. Look, he's coming for Daniel Bryan. Wow, Cena's showing some emotion Never seen anything like this before in my life. I know, right? Never seen Cena show so much emotion. The crowd is saying, you're a mess. 